as a military family, moved around quite a bit. And my dad, he's been in the Air Force for almost 20 years now, which is incredible to me. My dad's from Grenada. I have a lot of cousins. <laughs> he has a lot of brothers and sisters. He moved to New York um, with his family when he was about two years old. Um, and then my mom is from Jamaica. She moved uh, to the United States from Jamaica when she was 17. I don't think I could call one place home. I think kind of wherever my family is, I just kind of claim that area. But I've lived in Japan. I lived in Florida twice, I've been in California twice now, Arizona for a little bit. And so many significant things have happened to me in different areas. So, I mean, I finished high school in Florida. I had a great support system there. That's where I made my decision to come here. So Florida, Northwest Florida is very near and dear to my heart. So my dad, he did play George Mason. He played a little bit professionally in Europe and China. And he always says like his basketball career was kind of meant for me, um, which is like, it makes me cry every time I think about it. But um, we began our 5 a.m. workouts when I was 12. Um, and he always said, you know, you're gonna have to put in more work than everybody to be the best player. I think in, I think it was seventh grade. I wrote, we had, you know, at the beginning of school, your teachers want to know all about you, you know, so we had a paper in my English class and we had to write it. And I, at the end of the paper, I wrote, I would like to get a full ride to Duke or Stanford. So that's just, I mean, I hadn't seen the paper in years. I think I found it a little bit before I came here. And that was just one thing that, it's crazy just how like, you just write one thing in the minutes of coming true. I think that that was just amazing. Being at Stanford is the second longest I've lived in a place. So, um, it was high for the second longest. So, having the, the people around me that I do on this team has been spectacular. Starting off with my freshman year, having Carly Bird and Bray as seniors, and them just kind of help bring my freshman class up um, was an amazing experience. And just continuing that, I don't think, I wouldn't trade these girls for anything. Um, these women, excuse me. I am studying human biology with a concentration in developmental biology. Um, I think coming into Stanford initially, I wanted to do sociocultural uh, anthropology, and that kind of ties into just me moving around so much and being able to experience different cultures. After basketball is done, I, I think for women especially, having a degree from having a degree from anywhere at this point is is going to be amazing for our future because we don't have the same opportunities that men do um, in professional sports. I think having four strong women on our staff has been uh, an amazing experience, just being able to, to take what they teach you in life and on the court. I think they've done an amazing job kind of being, being there, allowing us to create our own culture, but then adding to that and, and making sure that we're going in the right direction.